is Eva Heard, and welcome to a video on a brand new game that released about a week ago. I know I'm a little late to the party, but I really wanted to play this one because I've been waiting for it since 2013 when it was originally announced. It is Rhyme. Now, this game is super duper cool because it's just this cool, like, adventure game. I've been meaning to play it for a little while, so I figure we'll give one video to it today and just sort of give it a shot and enjoy a little bit. I have way too many series going on right now to do a full series on something, but I figured maybe a little 30 minute, maybe more video on this is what it deserves at the least. So we're going to try because I haven't seen any gameplay besides, you know, the announced trailers and um, you know, stuff like that. So I don't really know too much about how it plays or how it looks too much more than that. There have been many times where I questioned if this game was even going to come out at all because it just, it took so long. It's been four years now and whoa, what is that? A game by Tequila Works. Fancy, but yeah, like I said, this game, I think like at first the people who were working on it, like they had to get like a new publisher. It was like crazy stuff there for a while. Ooh, I like it. Oh, I really like it. If you guys don't know, one of the biggest things for me is if a game has a sense of adventure. Like, that is what buys me over big time. And you can see, just from this opening cinematic, that this game hopefully has a really strong sense of adventure because that's what I really like. Uh-oh. I don't know if he uh, if he's okay. Is he taking a nap? Oh, I can move him. Come on, dude. Get up. It's, you know, you probably missed your bus to school or something. Good morning. So are we gonna be like the only people on this island? Oh, are you okay? Can I move him yet? I can't move him yet. Hmm. He doesn't look too uh, well off right now. He looks a little dazed and confused. Oh gosh, there's a crab. Oh, there's multiple crabs. I don't like it. I'm going this way. What is over this way? <laughs> look at me. I'm already breaking the boundary. We're going this way now. Wow, this control is super smooth. I heard a lot of people complaining that the PC version wasn't that great, but so far, so good? Wow, this game is beautiful. Now, I'm not even playing on like max settings because I didn't know what max settings were gonna do for this game. All right, well, it looks like there's not anything over here, so I'll just wait till my time. But it's really cool. I love the look of it. And the audio has been super great so far, so I'm gonna guess we're gonna try to get up there. Hmm, all right. Well, we'll do our best. But can I can jump. Like, obviously, I don't think there's gonna be a hardcore platformer. People were saying it was more like a puzzle game, which is like, that's all right. I'm not gonna complain too much about that. The camera's super sensitive, though. I don't know where I should go. Like, I could just try to jump into the water here, but I don't know if that's a good idea. And, and I don't think there's really any combat in this game. I guess we'll find out, right? Oh, look at that, there's a little nest up there. Oh, that's cute, a little seagull nest. But it looks like this is the best way to get up, so we'll go ahead and give this a shot. There's so many crabs. Please don't pinch me. I don't want that. Ooh, it looks like we can climb up here. There's like a little texture to it. Oh, yeah, there we go. I mean, I know there are popular games that sort of feel similar to this right away, like Eco and Rhyme. And I'm expecting that to you know, be the case throughout, but ooh. So that other tower, we're not even going to right now. Ooh, fancy. Man, this place is beautiful. I love it. There's so many different, like, I mean, I guess there aren't a huge amount of colors, but there's still like a good clash of colors here. And, and everything just looks really nice. I love his little downhill run. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, there's a little piggy. Oh, now I like these guys a lot more than the crabs. These little tiny piggy guys. Hi, piggy. How are you? Oh, no, don't run. No. I hope you're okay. Okay, well, what is this fountain? Oh, it's a little piggy fountain. Oh, no, that's a fox. I thought it was a piggy. Well, this seems to have some kind of importance. Like, okay, so the, if there are these little things here, I'm going to assume that means that there were people here at some point. What is that? I don't know, it looks really cool. I like how the camera works when you look up, like how it just sort of pans that way. I could go that way then, or can I? Maybe I can't get up there quite yet. So we should try some things. You know, if this seems like the most accessible, cool looking thing, it's probably what I should go for. Is there like a sprint button, or am I going full speed right now? Um. I feel like I was going a little bit faster there. I can't tell if that's just because I'm running uphill or not, though. Um, yeah, let's check this out. This looks like some kind of fox shrine. What can you tell me, Mr. Shrine of Fox? Oh, I can talk to you. Ha! Ha! <laughs> Where's that going? Hold on. Oh, look at this. So I'm gonna guess that we have to find like a couple more of these that meet up with the fountain, and maybe that'll do something worthwhile, but it's flying back now. 
I just love his immediate reaction is just to scream at it. Ha! <laughs> that was great. I love it. So there's one of those down. What was there, five of them? So we'll go ahead and try to find four more. And I'm just gonna sort of follow whatever path the game gives me, you know, just sort of give that a shot. Because, you know, I've played a lot of these explorative puzzle games, but I'm never too great at them. You know, I've played, uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I've played uh, The Witness, and I've also played a little bit of that other game. What is the other one called? Oh, I can't remember right now. Oh my. Won't this lead us in a circle? Oh. I think so. Oh, I see. We can go across here. Oh, this is like Uncharted. Oh, I like this. I need to play more Uncharted 4 on the bonus channel. That's been on my to-do list for about a year now. What was the circle? But I guess I could have dropped. Now, I'm gonna guess that if we fall from this far, we'll probably die. And that ain't something I'm looking forward to. There's a bunch more seagull nests over there. The seagulls have taken over the island. Maybe they're secretly the bad guy in this story. Oh, oh no, we're almost there. This is the place I was looking for before. So it looks like whenever there's that blue shine coming from it, it's probably gonna be what... Hello? So we aren't alone. Hello, sir. Oh boy, don't fall. No, wait, come back! Who are you? Wait, wait. I didn't see him go up the steps. He's gonna... Okay. I thought he was gonna be hiding around the corner. Automatically becomes a horror game. He's just like, wooga booga. But nope, not happening. Man, it's so weird playing a game I've waited almost five years for. Cause you know, 2000, it's been four years. Ha! <laughs> I love that. But still, just like, what do you wait for something for so long? It gets sort of scary, you know? Because it's like, can it ever really meet my expectations? Luckily, I try to not get, you know, too hyped up for certain games unless I know for a fact they'll be good. And you know, it's like, I thought this game was gonna be pretty good, but I also didn't know too much about the developer. So I didn't get crazy hyped, but it's still super cool. But this is really what I was looking for, you know? It's just like going to new places, having really cool views no matter where you go, having this sense of adventure is what I really like in games. Nothing is still flying back, but it looks like we can go this way. And right now what I really like about it is there, well, no, no, no! That's not what I liked about it, okay. That ain't too bad, so it just spawns me back here. Okay, so not too much of like a uh, major risk of failure. So we can just press circle to plop down, similar to Uncharted again, but, yeah, like, I like the idea that we're constantly moving, right? It's never just like, okay, I'm really stuck. I don't know where to go next. Maybe that's just because we're sort of in a, dang it, tutorial area. It could just be something like that. Can I, you know what, maybe I have to, uh, do I have to plop down? No, maybe I just messed up the, oh, no, I can make that jump. Interesting. I don't know if I messed that up or not, but that was sort of weird. It definitely doesn't have the same sort of clingy style that Uncharted does. It's a little more floaty, which makes it a bit more difficult. I don't know which way we're going here. Whoa, look at the jellyfish, though. Oh, that is so cool. So let's plop down here really quick. It does look like there are some places you can go, but like I don't know if I can jump up there. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn around. I wanna try some other ways. Because we got stuff up here. And I don't know if I'll be playing this full game. Like I said, I'm probably gonna be a one-off because I just don't know how long this game is. Hello, oh, this is a little fox shrine. Oh, I picked it up. Oh, I found something. So that's one out of seven, these different items. I didn't have to scream hot at this time. Oh, I can make little noises. <laughs> I like that. This is like combining what I like a lot, a lot about like a lot of separate games. You know, it's the things I like about The Witness or Uncharted or, you know, like, I guess Zelda almost. It sort of has like a Zelda feel to it, but it does it like right now. I like I want a kind of game like this, but where I'm never just like sort of stuck for 20 minutes just because I couldn't figure out a puzzle. Like I wanted to just move on and keep going and going and going. You know, like I don't want too many like slow spots. And I'm hoping that's what we experience with this game. So, oh, you know what? We just went in a circle then. We just we just looped that whole thing, which is good and bad. So I don't know where I'm heading off to next. Hmm, I think that maybe I could go this way? We'll have to see. But I just gotta keep my eye out for those things right there, and as long as I can keep finding them, I'm gonna be going in the right direction, I can only assume. Oh, look at the little, sh no, that's not a sheep, that's a that's a grown-up boy, that's a big papa pig. <laughs> I like it, I like it, but, oh, hello? Are you gonna be nice? Oh, yeah, he doesn't like that. 
He's okay. Oh, can I? Dude. He's really got to make noises. All right, he does not like that. Because, of course, he's got his babies. And he wants to protect them, which I can appreciate, you know? Maybe I could find a way around. <laughs> Maybe it will be like Breath of the Wild and I get a glider. I can hop off from somewhere else. But who knows? Right now, look, I can't hop up here, right? Oh, no, not looking like that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, well, let me look around here. As long as there's always a new way to go, like that's what I'm really focusing on. Now, if we hop back over here, this is where we'll loop again. So I don't really want that too much, because I already know where that leads. But I do get a better angle of what's going on here, and it looks like there's like no way to properly climb up. The only way I'm gonna be able to get through there is if uh, I can get that board move. So we'll try some other things. Maybe over time he will move. Maybe it's like, you know, constantly changing. Bye, piggy. Bye, piggy. Maybe if we make him mad, you know, we start chasing around one of his babies. He's like, hey, you get over. That'll be something. Oh, there's more eating over here. Hey, can I have some? Can I? No, not what I wanted. I wanted to see if I can't pick any up. Oh, look at this. Okay, there's a tree over here of stuff. Here we go. So it always gives me a prompt if I can. Well, it didn't, I don't know if it gave me a square prompt. Oh geez, they're chasing me. No, you got your own, get out of here. <laughs> I'm the the pig herder. Come on here. I'm gonna herd all these guys out of here. Well, at least these guys, come on. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Yep, over here, over here. Don't attack me, please. So now, oh. Oh, okay, okay, I can go around him. I mean, really, I don't understand why he's Letting me get that close. That time I wasn't any farther away from him from last time. But okay, there's one more. So that's three out of five. If it really is five, it's starting to get dark though. Ooh, I like that. The active day and night cycle. Oh, that brings me back to Jack and Daxter. And that's another thing. I really wanted this game to have like a Jack and Daxter feel and at least some extent. I don't want to chase you around because I don't want you looking, you know, like a scaredy cat in front of your babies. I'm sure that doesn't portray a good image and that's not what I want to do. I don't want to disrupt the family. I want the family to be happy. I love how you can just make him hum to himself every once in a while. That is so cool. But that's that's what I really like about this, is the silent, oh, there he is again. Yo, let's try to hide, let's try to hide, can I? There we go, wait, no. Hide in the bushes, I can't really duck for too long. I guess I can swim this, but is that what I wanna do? Whoa, boom. Now let's see, if I get closer to him, will he do? I mean, I could dive underwater. Hello, sir. How are you doing? <laughs> Would you like to hang out sometime? Okay, he doesn't care. He's off doing his own thing. I can't even touch him. All right, no, I didn't want to dive underwater. Even Oh, you know what? Maybe I do. Ooh. All right. Oh, yeah, and I can get up here. Well, there we go. That's all I needed. And are you going to be up here? Is he gone? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> that little trickster. But this one wasn't too bad. Ha! <laughs> Oh, I love how the music picks up. That is great. He doesn't do like a dive though, which I, I don't know, maybe that's because I'm used to Breath of the Wild there, where he'll do like a five-star Olympic dive into the water. But that was the fourth one, maybe the fifth? We Maybe we should go back and check, but if there's a path leading this way, I might as well take the opportunity to give it a look. Oh man, I just love how that, the, you can see that tower looming, like no matter where you are in a game. Hopefully, that's the idea. Or at least for this first section, that'd be pretty cool. So that leads back to the uh, the little fountain area there. So I don't need to worry about that too much for right now. But let's get back up there. But that's another thing that I really like that's sort of similar to Jack and Daxter, which I haven't really mentioned too much, is being on, like having a PS2 re-release on the PS4 soon, like they did with like you know some other PS2 games, which I'm totally gonna get. Because, you know, I, I always need an excuse to replay that game. But I already see a lot of similar things that I like about that game than I like about this game. You know, the day and night cycle, the um, being able to sort of see everything the game has to offer within the draw distance. Because, like, that's sort of something that happened with Jack and Naxxer is the game was loaded all at once. The entire game was just there. So you didn't have to encounter any loading screens or anything, you know, unintuitive to the immersion, really. So, I guess I just got to go back here. I got more uh, little orange patches. I didn't know these guys were herbivores, but you know, I'm not against it, you know? That's great for the environment for the most part. Usually it's symbiotic. 
let's go back here and talk to the fox. And I guess there really was only four. All right. Hello. Do I call for you? Ha! Oh, that worked. That worked. Whoa, the tails. It was like two tails, so they both like lit up there. All right. So what is that gonna do? Yeah, what exactly did that do? Oh wait, there's still one left. There we go, oh, I guess I gotta head to yell at them all. Whoa, look at that, it's a little foxy fox. Hi. Oh, he's like a little companion. Wait, I hope he is like a like a companion friend. Cause then this is even more like a PlayStation 2 platform. <laughs> all right, well, we'll follow him around. Maybe he's more like a spiritual guide. Now he just sort of guides us on where to go. And that's sort of the interesting thing. There's no backstory. You just sort of wash up on an island and you just go on this adventure. And I wonder how much narrative there'll really be. Will it all be a visual narrative? Will we get some kind of dialogue at some point? Because so far, we've gotten absolutely no dialogue. Huh. Now this right here isn't a fox. It's like a little, I don't know, like a person, like a monk or something. I don't know, but not a fox. That's our first non-fox shrine we've screamed at, but there's the fox in the little tower there. Hi! Oh, he gave us a little bark. He's so cute. I hope I'm not missing any collectibles. I mean, hopefully, if I am, I can just come back and get them. Because the one we found sort of glowed in the dark, so even if it's nighttime, hopefully we won't be at a disadvantage when it comes to finding it. Now, why is this thing glowing? Um, I can scream at it. That does do something. I don't know where the fox ran off to. It looks like over there. What is going on over here? Oh, it's too dark to really see. But you don't seem too happy about it, dude. I don't know, we might have to come back there because I don't want to miss out what's going on here. We don't want to, you know, mess up the main quest or whatever this might be. Where'd the fox go? Oh, you know what? Maybe we do have to go that way. Maybe the stairs are broke. Or maybe I shouldn't have done what I did here. Let's try yelling at you again. I guess so. Hmm. Then what was the point of you being there? He's shaking his head like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, interesting. Let's go ahead. Oh, and what is this button? Will this like lower it again? Yes, it will. Okay, so let me try that again. I mean, I had to test it out <laughs> out of curiosity. What I think I understand now is I just gotta hop on there and not press that button. That is the challenge, I guess. I mean, it wasn't that hard to do. Here, big jump. Yeah, okay. This guy can, this kid, I guess, can hop pretty darn far. Hmm, there's the fox. Can I plop down here? I think I can. Oh, it's also timed. All right, hello. How are you? He's so cute, I love it. Handshake? Give me some paw, dude, give me some paw. Oh, this is such a precious moment. Ooh. Hooray! <laughs> the pets, the pets always feel the best, but he's still wary. I can't understand. I mean, he's still a wild animal. Even if he came out of a statue. <laughs> wow, look at this. The sky is beautiful. This is amazing. Oh, and we're finally at the tower. Oh, hi, Piggy. Run, Piggy. Join us on our adventure, Piggy. A boy, a fox, and a pig. Now that sounds like a Disney movie. When the fox go? Um, not entirely sure. Man, I just love how you can always focus the tower or the the camera to the tower. Oh, we're missing one. I think it's over here. Ooh, boop. Oh, look at this. There's a little shrine. Oh, so the fox is leading somebody to the tower. I'm gonna guess that's you know us. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I think I I want to go ahead and activate this one and then activate those two, and it opens the door. Perfect timing. Oh, hey, look, there you are. So he's definitely some kind of magical fox, because how did he get through? I love it. This is great, and there's more fruit for the piggies, and the music just gets better and better. We keep getting closer to the tower. I guess we are still a long ways off. Now that I remember it, though, I think the fox was in the trailer of this game, which was a long stinking time ago. I mean, I know a lot of the trailer was slated to actually, oh, I see what I gotta do here. Um, a lot of the t trailer was slated to be non-in-game, I think? Oh, I see, okay, now this is making more sense. Can I, I can activate with, no, I don't wanna hum to it. Ooh, 
This is weird. Okay, this is really weird. Uh, and will that make like some kind of magical door? Wow, I guess it did. But we don't have, oh no, okay, I thought there was like a huge gap here, I guess there isn't. Wow, okay, this is so cool. And once again, it's like, obviously the fox is guiding us on where to go next, but I haven't seen any indication that this is where we have to go. I wonder if we could go somewhere else and solve different puzzles in other areas. Probably not, but I'm sure it's maybe possible. I don't know if I wanna plop down or not. I'll just try to jump. Yeah, I'm not gonna make that. Ooh, okay, there's definitely a puzzle going on down here. And, oh, I see, once again. You can sort of see the details on the like on the walls where there's ledges and stuff, so we wanna push this here and, oh no, we can like move it the whole thing. Okay, that's helpful. Let's put it about here and on top up this thing. And hopefully that'll be enough. There we go, good stuff, I love it. All right, oh, no, come across to here and jump. There we go. Now, of course, if, you know, I'm gonna say this a little late in this video, but if you plan on getting this game for yourself, you know, obviously it's sort of like a, a very experienced kind of game. Like, you you know, the experience is a big part of it. So if you do plan on playing it, I would suggest you, of course, play it and then come back and then you can enjoy my playthrough or it might be spoiling it for yourself. So there's another one of these. Oh, I see, I think I get this one. Maybe not. Oh, you know what, I can move it. Okay, so so far these puzzles are pretty elementary, like they're not super crazy, which is fine. Like once again, I didn't want like a hardcore puzzle experience, I want more of an adventure experience. And if it's a hybrid between, you know, platforming and puzzles and all the kinds of stuff, like I'm totally cool with that, because that's still a lot of fun to me. Let's go and try to do this. Um, It's still not quite where I need it to be, because I need it to be right there. All right, I should be able to do that. I just need to move it a little bit over, and we got what we want. Well, that's not too bad. Let's try right there. I think that'll be good. It's hard to tell at this angle, so you just try to fiddle with it and hope it works. All right, back over here. And then once we get these two. Oh, you know what? I'm totally wrong. It needs to be way closer. Ah, okay. I mean, it, I think it actually tells us. Yeah, I think it's telling us to put it here. Okay, well I had to try for my own, you know, self or whatever. What am I talking about? Let's just put this here before I make myself look any more silly. Because we can't push anything else in this puzzle. These other things look very fairly planted where they are. I'm gonna put that there because it's telling me to. And hopefully that helps. It's looking like it. Yeah, it's glowing like it knows. Ooh, that's good. So there's another door to another place. That's a really cool way to do it, too. Because is that way we can't like go to the wrong area. Like We need to be able to solve the puzzle to actually continue. Oh my. I think we're gonna get another cool view. I think we are. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this tower is huge. Like The closer you get to it, the more it sort of dawns on you how gigantic this thing is. Because I didn't think it was gonna be so far away, but then the closer we get to it, the farther it seems to be. It's crazy. Okay, there's something going on here. I can hear the crackle of the fire, which is sort of creepy. Yeah, we haven't seen a little fox friend, though. It looks like there's sort of something on the other side of that door, but it looks all covered up like we can't go through it. And all the doors sort of have that same shape to them. Like, they, like every all the architecture in this area, very similar. Hmm, ah, here we go. So this one, oh, this is weird. Um. Huh, hold on, well, well, which way am I facing with this thing? Because now I'm confused. Um. Oh, this is a different one. This is for like over here, but can I like, what about that other area? So obviously there's something happening here. Then why is there a little space here? Because I can't move that. <laughs> oh, you know what, what is this thing? A little spindle. Ooh, here we go. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, to be honest with you. I feel like I'm missing a piece for sure. Well, there was a piece, wasn't there? Wasn't there a piece in the room? Because, like, obviously I need more than I'm getting for this one. There isn't anything, like, around here, right, that I'm missing? I don't think so. Okay, let's try to get back over here. 
I want to say, like, maybe, like, <laughs> I hope that this entire game isn't trying to get to that main tower. I was hoping maybe we could finish off with that. Well, I can move this thing, but I can't move it outside of here. Maybe if I just push it against this wall. What happens if I do that? Nothing really. That's weird, there's definitely something missing here. Because I can't pull it off of here. And I didn't miss anything in here. Oh, well, maybe I did. I can't scoot through there now. It would be cool if I could, but I mean, I could possibly. Ah, well, what is this then? Let's try to get across here as smoothly as we can. So maybe I've, I've done the wrong thing and I need to get up here first. But it looks like there's plenty of context clues to tell you what you need to do. Or like, you know, sort of showing me that there was something on the other side of this. Now I can, oh, I see what I gotta do here. This might actually be a little bit difficult. Um, Cause I need to do that, run over here, grab this thing, and then bring it across before this closes. And I'm probably not gonna be able to, but it might be close. No, wait, okay, I did it. Not a problem at all. I was worried that, you know, we'd have to have it like right against the door. Oh, you know what? It looks like it's not actually gonna come back. Okay. Well, good to know. Now, what's going on here? We gotta get up this way. So that one puzzle we were trying to solve, I guess we just couldn't quite solve it yet, which I sort of pieced together pretty darn quickly. You know, it's just like, and that's once again what I like. Like, it's hard to bridge in, you know, a, a puzzle game that's easy with, you know, instead of it being easy, you know, sort of being easy to piece together whether you're ready to do this puzzle or not, because that's what I don't like. Like, spending half an hour in a puzzle just to realize I can't do it yet. We got ourselves another thingamajig. Oh, it's a little horn. Oh, I like that. That's really cool. Hey, can we just like play that anytime? No, we can't. <laughs> but it would be cool if we could. And there's another shot of the tower. So there looks like there's some of those to find too. So it looks like there are definitely some bonus objectives of finding certain things, which is pretty cool. Hopefully I found everything I can possibly find so far, but the chances are that isn't true because the game's been pretty open. And then there's stuff over there as well. Hmm, so what is this thing? Uh, oh, look at that, is this like a hint? It's like a keyhole, and in the keyhole, hey wait, I think that's a baby him. Did you see that? Yeah, it looks like him. He's got the little scarf. I mean, it's really torn up. He has the brownish dark hair, and I think that's supposed to be him. That's pretty cool. So it looks like even then, there's more story elements to find, which I really hope we can find all those, because if that's our way of finding out the narrative in the game, I wanna find it out. But we still have a long way to go to get to this tower. So I don't know if that's something I wanna be able to do today. I'm hooked, though. I really wanna play more of this. So that's what we found up here, which is good and bad, because while it's good to find those kind of things and learn about them, I'm still not really better off for this puzzle. Like, that was a cool detour, but not much more. So I can plop down from there. And not any better or worse for this puzzle, and I don't like that. And I can't plop down here, and I don't think I want to. Then what do I do now? Maybe now is a good time to finish off then if I can't figure out this puzzle. Yeah, I'll give it a second. So yeah, this puzzle's sort of uh, getting me stuck. It's the first puzzle we're stuck on in the game, so I think that's where we're gonna finish things off for now. You know, a pretty cool game, played about a half an hour, so that's good timing for me. I like it a lot. Now, I don't think I'm gonna be playing in episode two, so don't get your hopes up super big, because I already have a ton of projects going on right now, and there's gonna be a lot more on the way. So I'm probably not expecting it, but of course, you can always let me know if you enjoyed the game and if you'd like to see more. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's video on Rhyme. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. Below. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Rhyme so I know you've watched it in the video and you are a Zebra Tastic viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.